which is uh, performance evaluation uh, gap analysis. So this is a, uh, a, a service, uh, if you like, that uh, starts with, uh, uh, with setting some project objectives uh, around uh, optimizing energy efficiency, maintenance, and so on. And then we have a, a benchmarking phase, so we collect uh, information and uh, compare and look for opportunities to improve. And then uh, finally, uh, the, uh, the plant visits. So hopefully this would be after the COVID travel restrictions are, are lifted, um, where we would look at the opportunities in more depth uh, at the plants where the uh, improvements were planned. So we've had expressions uh, of interest uh, from members around the world. Uh, we're, uh, we still have openings for another two or three uh, companies uh, within this project. So if it's something that you're uh, interested in, if, you, if you're a member, then it's, uh, it's offered at no charge. Uh, if you're not a member, then please join first. Um, we expect to kick this off uh, probably in August. Uh, first one will be on grinding with a focus on our uh, FCB Euromill grinding system. And uh, thereafter, we'll go to uh, classifying and drying solution with a focus on the FCB uh, TSV classifier and other solutions. The is the most flexible one, allowing to deal with uh, very moist material and also with uh, fine material. We see on this flow sheet the three functions. The green one, the grinding function that is basically ensured by the Oromil itself. The classifying function, ensured by the TSV classifier. And the drying function, ensured by the so called aero decanter. This aero decanter permits to deal with moist material and also fine material as said before. With uh, so, the different shapes of trump curves achieved with the uh, dynamic separator, starting from first generation separator with here high bypass, uh, nearly 50%, and very uh, smooth uh, slope of the selection curve. Uh, if we look at the green one, the bypass comes down to 0%. Of course, not in all the condition, but in condition with low specific load and not to find fineness, <coughs> zero is uh, uh, achievable value. So there is three results uh, with the second, with the third generation separator TSV. First, low bypass, as you can see. The steep slope between, which is, uh, for example, between 225 to 275, steep slope of selection curve, which uh, uh, enable a precise adjustment of product finalness in operation. And this steep slope is, is uh, mainly due to the, our original shape of turbine blades which are shown on the left here, with uh, different higher lengths between blades L2, bigger than L1 at the outer part of the turbine. This is a patented uh, turbine shape. To, to ban, uh, blade the shape. difference is that the workshop is uh, very compact. So actually the civil work cost is uh, normally less than what you have for uh, ball mill or vertical roller mill. And even the difference is bigger when you have a roller press combination because the roller press combination has to house even more equipment inside the same building. Uh, uh, one point that can be said also is that uh, therefore it is uh, was a key issue when we won the project in the Philippines with La Farge, now CRH plant, because the, it was a grey field project and we had to fit in a very narrow space. So the, uh, not only the civil cost but also the fitting in a limited space was a key issue. So uh, generally, I would say it's uh, more compact 
and uh, its complexity from a technological point of view is similar to what you have with a, with a vertical mill, but size and quantity of concrete and so on is smaller. Okay. Um, what is the typ typical specific air load for a TSV separator? Yeah, I guess, is that one for you, Philippe? Yeah. Yes, so, uh, for um, inlet, at inlet, the specific load in a ball mill is 2.3 kilo per cubic meter. Maximum. Outlet is 0 0.8. Okay. A machine Great. that and is uh, doing the automatic rewelding re of the sleeve. Mm -hmm. uh, so, especially for a uh, uh, very abrasive uh, 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 application. And uh, maybe it was not that, that clear into the presentation, but thanks to the uh, zero water uh, the consumption of the, of the process uh, in the mill, the wear is very low. And actually, the, the wear of, uh, of the, within the Euro mill is uh, three to five times less than a vertical mill. Oh, okay. So it's less than uh, one gram per ton, roughly. Uh, 